Police are thankful tonight nobody was hurt after a shooting outside the Asheville Mall. We first reported the shooting as breaking news at 5.30 yesterday. News 13's Frank Faboni joins us now with our continuing coverage. Frank, witnesses played a major role in helping police. Absolutely, Darcel. The 911 emergency center was barraged with calls within seconds. One of the callers was a witness and former Marine who did the unthinkable. I was dazed for a brief moment, and I was like, I can't be hearing what I'm hearing, you know. What people heard was gunfire, several shots outside the Asheville Mall. After I heard the pops, I didn't really have an issue with it, but then I saw the gun. Police say the man with the gun was 42-year-old Isaac Beverly. He's accused of firing several shots into this occupied car near the mall entrance before ditching his motorcycle and gun. Very, very afraid. <laughs> Scared the living, I don't know what, out of me. People who heard the shots began running everywhere as the panic spread like wildfire. It scared me, so I went to the back of the store kind of hiding. While most ran away from the shooting, this former Marine ran toward it. Everybody was running, and then so I ran to the gunshot fire because I just see if somebody needed help. Frank Gonzalez ran right past the shooter. Me and a few other people witnessed him walking into the Barnes & Noble. That's when Gonzalez ran after him and followed him into the mall. So then I got on the phone with 911, and I was giving the description as I'm walking and following behind the guy. Police say the actions of Gonzalez and other witnesses together with officers trained in active shooter scenarios helped end the crisis quickly. The entire incident was over with from start to finish. It was over with in 10 minutes. A bold and brave move, Gonzalez says, was only natural. You know, being a soldier, I'm just, you know, being a former Marine, I just got thinking, well, somebody must be hurt or something. So I just, my initial thought was just to run towards it. Thankfully, nobody was hurt. Police say when the words shooting and mall came over the radio, officers responded immediately. Ever since Columbine and other mass casualties, officers have learned not to wait and are trained now in rapid deployment with deadly force if necessary.